ברוך השם, אשם חייב. ברוך השם, ברוך השם. תומר, לא אמרת לי שאתה מגיע. Thank you, Rabbi, for having me. Pleasure. A real, live, true Nazir. So now that we're starting with this Nazir, I wanted to ask you a few questions about Nazirus. Maybe tell me a little bit about why you became a Nazir, what it's like to live like a Nazir. What can you tell us? Enlighten us a little bit about Nazirus. First of all, uh, when, we, when we speak about the Torah, the word Torah is uh, corrected to, is similar to, to the word Hora'ah. Hora'ah is order, mitzvot. All the meaning of the Torah is that we are going to make the Torah, we're going to do whatever wrote in the Torah. So the mitzvah, the highest mitzvah of Nazir, which is very, very special mitzvah, uh, this mitzvah is uh, wrote in the Torah in Parashat Neso. And we know uh, by the halacha, there is two, kind of, two kinds of people that call holy. One is the Kohen, that is walk. He walk in Bet HaMikdash, he walk on the Mizbeach. And the second is Nazir. Torah call him Kadosh Hu LaHashem. Which the meaning that, that if you want to be close to Hashem, there is way. Which is not the way for everybody, but someone who want it, want to become close to Hashem, he became a Nazir. And the way to do it, it's not that dif- difficult. You just say two words, Areni Nazir. And in the minute when you say these two words, Areni Nazir, you become closer to Hashem. This is what the Torah, this is the fact that wrote in the Torah. And this is the order of, of Mitzvat Nazir. Uh, Nazir, Rashi HaKadosh, Rashi, is saying that Nazir is, the word Nazir is Milshon Nezer. Nezer, it's like a Keter, Keter, Melech sam al Rosho, the king, okay? the king put the crown on, on his head. This is the meaning of Nazirut, that's why the head, the, the, the hair of the Nazir is very holy. Um, what make me became a Nazir? I wrote on the mitzvah and uh, when I was uh, in uh, age 17, I, I looked on the picture of Rabbi David Cohen, and I asked myself, I asked Rabbi, who is this man? And he told me he was Nazir Yerushalmi, he was Nazir in Jerusalem and he was uh, so close to the meaning of uh, being holy and pure. And uh, sometimes uh, one people, one people that act very purely, uh, he, he stand against a lot of people, a lot of gzerot uh, raot. And uh, it's make the, the, the protect to all over the world all the children in the world, all the Jewish uh, nation. And this is one part. And the second part that um, one of the things that the Rambam, Rambam says in Inchot Afla'a, uh, he says that we have, we have one thing that we, are, we, we lost. We have two things that we lost. One is uh, more material and and the second is more spiritual. The first one is Bet Hamikdash. We lose Bet Hamikdash, but Bet Hamikdash it's a house. It's a house of Hashem. It's a house of mitzvot. Everything okay, but there is other size, spiritual size that we lose. The spiritual side, the spiritual, the spiritual issue that we lose is um, is the prophetic, the prophetic, uh, anevua. And the Rambam says, you know, I, you know what, let me read it to you. The Rambam says in the Chot Afla'a, he says that the most thing that close to became a prophetic man, okay, to bring the prophetic to Am Israel, is the Nezirut. That's, why, that's what he wrote. He says, Anoder Hashem derech kedusha, הרי זה נאם ושובח, ועל זה נאמר נזר אלוהיו על ראשו קדוש הוא להשם. 
ושקלו הכתוב כנביא, שנאמר והקימי ביניכם לנביאים ומבחוריכם לנזירים. The meaning is that the last uh, prof- prophetic man that we had at the last nevoah, his last nevoah uh, is wrote in the last halacha of nezirut in the Rambam, which the meaning is that when the guys of Israel, the Jewish guy, will become nezirim, we have a lot of nezirim, in the end, the, the, the spiritual side, the, the prophetic will become to Eretz Israel, to Am Israel again. And this is all what we hope and what we are praying for. So, very nice. How do, how do you, first of all, could I see your hair? Could I see the back? Uh, what does it look like to be a Nazir? Here. That's payas. What about the back? Where's the, the back here? It's, it's, it's not, there. It's there. It's there yeah. So how many, how many years are you a Nazir? Uh, five. five. All six. that in five years? Yes. So how does it affect your life? What, what, what can't you do? What could you do? There's a, do you feel holier? Uh, I, I want to tell you, I want to answer first on this question. First of all, I fear, I feel uh, that I found my place in the world. It's take me to, to live like in my dream, in my special place and my correct place in Avodat Hashem, in the way that I live. And Baruch Hashem, you know, think, uh, people think that if you became holier, you became, uh, you don't play with your, your kids, you don't go to the makolet, you don't go to, to buy, buy, you don't do dishes, but it's not true. The truth is that it makes you something inside you that make you more closer to yourself, more closer to Hashem, more closer to your goal that you came to this world. Mm-hmm. And this is what the Nezirut uh, take me take me to this place, and I feel in this place, yes, it's make me holier. I think it's opened my mind in the Torah, in the Torah the Kabbalah. You, I, I heard that you wrote 30 Svarim. Yes. On what topics? Uh, a lot of topics. Since you became a Nazar or even from before? Uh, I start before, but since I became a Nazar, it became like... The gate just opened. Yes. The ideas come in. Yes. Correct. And you told me that your wife is also in a zero. Yeah. Not your kids. You have six kids, Blayan Hara, okay. and your wife. So what about her? She doesn't write Svarim. No. <laughs> she reads. She, she, yes. She's, a, she's holy or she feels yes, holy? Yes. Uh, we, uh, we, we feel that it's open something, something in our life, in our heart, in our feeling. Uh, you know, it's a process. You don't uh, even from the uh, by the halacha, you can be in one minute nazir. But it's a process. You are make uh, this big decision because it's for all of your life. You cannot uh, change it. When you, t- are you you're a nazir shimshon. I'm a nazir shimshon. So that means you could go to funerals. You could go to levayas. Yes. You could be metamel maze. Nachon. But it's forever. It's forever, yes. Did you do any kind of condition, any kind of tnai that you could get out of it? Let's say one day you have charata, what could you do? Okay, I have some uh, patent that uh, I created. Yeah, keep on going. Okay. My lunch just fell out, that's fine. Okay, I have some patent that I uh, created. Yeah. It's wrote in uh, Yore Dea in Shulchan Aruch. Maybe I should find it first. Yeah. yeah. Stop for a second. Stop for a second. You, you don't have to stop. Just keep on rolling. Keep on rolling. My bad. Billy, that, that was be my biggest question. He has no way out of it, even if he wants to. Hold he on. has. He has. He has it tonight. No, it's like combina. It's like combina. Israeli, okay? Oh, Israeli combina. We're back. <laughs> <laughs> No, it's because I, I close my eyes. We need a couple of these guys. We're going to need some, some, get out some pigeons. We need a couple of these guys. <laughs> more than that, yeah. <laughs> we need a lot more. Yeah, so, so what's your patent? Okay, okay. Your, I'm going back. Roll. What was the question? Okay. okay. Second, oh, the ki- are you going to ask? Okay, go ahead. Shimshon. Go ahead. So you're a Nazir Shimshon, which means that you're a Nazir forever. But you could go to Levias and, and be Metamala Maze. But just in case you want to get out of it, how could you get out of it? Okay, so uh, this question was, uh, uh, there is two ways to be a Nazir. One is Derech Kedusha, and the second is a bad way to be a Nazir. A lot of 
a lot of books that had the answer in halakha, they wrote that um, uh, they was against Nezirut. Why? Because people was u- using it. They would tell their wife when they were angry, if you will not do this and that, I'm going to be a Nazir Shimshon. And it's forever. But we know that there is a lacha. Uh, and I say this is my Hidush in Yerchot Nezirut. But uh, I wrote a tshuva, I answer, big answer on it. But uh, the, the meaning is that uh, there is a lacha in Yore Dea, the Siman Resh Kafchet. Okay? It's wrote in uh, Yore Dea in Shulchan Aruch, if you do an, a two nethers, two nedorim, and you have two nedarim, but you say it in the, in the same sentence, in the same nether. So the meaning, the, the, the meaning is that if you are make hatara on one nether, when the first fall, the second also fall. Okay? So, it wrote about regular nedarim. But we know there is a machloket between two big poskim. The first one is the mabit, and the second is, uh, is uh, mar al-bach. They have an arg- argument in halacha, if uh, uh, if someone had an ezirut shimshon, his wife had an ezirut shimshon, if the man can her husband be yom shom'o, in the day that he hears that she may take care on herself, this nether, be yom shom'o, if he can also broke their nether. Why? Because ezirut shimshon had a, 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 something that is tough and something that is, is, is soft. The tough things that he cannot make it off. When you take the nether, you take Nezirut Shimshon, it's forever. And the second thing is that it's, he can litamel uh, emetim, like we learn in the Gemara, learn in Daftet, about Shimshon and Nazir. So what did they do? That they make other nether with this nether of Nezirut Shimshon. But I, after I, I, I feel and uh, I, I, I do this a lot of years, Baruch Hashem, I don't think I'm going to use it, Be'ezrat Hashem. And this is one thing. And the second thing that every... But if you do use it, it's a tarad, meaning that it, it, it retroactively cancels all your nezirot. Yes. It's not from here on. It's, it takes it off yes. from the beginning. This is very big question. If the meaning is, if, if someone, like if I do this today, I cancel the first nether, okay? Mm-hmm. So the second nether is full, but... Uh, before four days, I was drinking a uh, kazait yain. Okay? Kazait wine. Okay, revit. Revit, sicha, revit yain. So the meaning that I, uh, I should get a malkot if it was a tra'a. So now that I can sell it after a few days, if, if, I, I, if I already chayavti malkot, the question is if now I am loke. And there is a lot of question about this... Uh, this you, you shouldn't get Malkus. <laughs> but I have a different question. What yeah. happens to all your Sfarim, all the Gdusha that you got, does it get erased? Or that stays? <laughs> uh, Not a good question. Okay, yeah. <laughs> we'll move on. I have a question. These rings that I noticed here, does this have to do with Naziros? No. It's, uh, it's something else. It's something else, yes. It's from the Kabbalah. We, we do a few things. Ah. And, uh, but this came after the Nezirut? Yes. I feel, listen, I feel that after the Nezirut, things are open. Things are open. Parnos also? Uh, uh, yes. And I want to tell you something. It's wrote in the Halakha. When there is a big sgula that wrote in the Torah. And it's wrote in a few, place, in a few places. First of all, when David and Melech were getting to the war, all of his, uh, all of it, uh, all of his, um, his soldier was getting nezirut on them himself, and after after that uh, Beta Mikdash destroyed, Bay Cheni destroyed, they were looking for someone that uh, will take off, will break their nezirut. The Gemara mefureshet, you will learn it in Nazir. Yeah. And second, second thing that um, it's wrote in the Sfarim also that when someone was sick, he was taking on himself nezirut. To, to help him to get health. And we see it in Shimshon, when, when, uh, when Lila cut his hair, his uh, power get down. Right. That's why, uh, that's why uh, ask the son of the Rambam, Rabbi Avram ben Rambam, they ask him, if someone gets an Ezirut, he will become stronger. 
He says not, it's not a mukhrakh, it's not a surely that he, that he will become stronger, but he will become holier. Shimshon, because of his nefesh, he became stronger. But if someone is smart, he will become smarter. It's like you take something and you make it extreme here. And what's another thing? Uh, what is what that's special in this mitzvah? That this mitzvah, it's like um, it's work every each every each second. Why? Because it's also in the pasuk gadel yeper asear roshu. The meaning that you should not cut your hair, and when your hair is growing every each second, you have a mitzvah. Mitzvah tesemi deoraita. That's why this is the only mitzvah. Also, when you sleep. Also, when you when you do whatever you want, whatever you need, as you life, every every each second that you life, you making a mitzvah tasemi doraita. We don't have any mitzvah that similar like this, like mitzvah nezirut. That every each second you make a mitzvah tasemi doraita. Don't get those socks. To get the socks. Tell us when they go. Okay, so I'll ask the question again. Ready? Hold on a second, and you're on. Okay, so you, t- you spoke a lot about the positives and how it influenced your whole life. And what are some of the negatives? What are some of the downside? Or uh, let's say, how do you kiddush, havdalah, dalad kaisas on Pesach, uh, Purim? What to tell us some of the some of the things that that's hard to be a Nazir. Where where is it hard? Um, uh, first of all, I want to answer. Um, I want to answer you that when you are connected to something, uh, even it's hard. It's truthfully, it's not hard because this is the way that you choose to live your life. And if you connected it, so whatever come, it's come. We are um, we having it, and we have the the way to litmoded. With this, uh, with this, with yeah, to deal with some situation. Uh, first of all, that was hard for me, is um, and when you deal with something, when you have problem, you deal, you figure out that if you are connected to your goal, you find out that this dealing open you other gates. And the first thing that was difficult for me is to go out with the hair. And you know, we are, uh, as a religious, we're going to the mikveh, and the mikveh was a big problem for me because I don't want uh, uh, in the in the two first years, three thirty first years, when I became a nazir, nazir, I was um, wearing a big big hat because I don't, I don't know, I didn't know how people will react. Yeah, react for it, you know. So. Um, First, I, I was look, I, I, I go to the mikveh in different hours, like early in the morning and thing. And after it, I learn about the sugiah of the mikvot. And I make a smacha to do a mikvot. And I uh, had a patent, how to build a mikveh in your house. Very easier uh, uh, way and very cheap. I, you can watch me on YouTube in my class. I already did it. I didn't watch you, but I already did the cheap point okay. in my house. Okay. <laughs> so You'll show you, me? Yes. Where it's made out of Negosta? No, no. It's, ma- it's even cheaper than what you did. Uh, if, you, if you want, we can see it. But uh, the thing that uh, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's like the dealing, the problem open you other option, make you think in other way that you think till today. Outside of the box. Yes, out of of the box, and I think this is the this is our power to to think, to to open mind. And there is a few things that you know you deal with them, like we do a kiddush, we make a birkon, like blast. How nazir do a kiddush? And you know when you are going. Um, when I fly to other countries like New York or when I go uh, to communities in the world. So sometimes I need to explain them the meaning of uh, having Kiddush with Nazir or if we do like uh, Suda Shlishit and uh, they have after Suda Shlishit, uh, 
they have the blast with the um, with the the blast with the the zimun on the wine so there is it's yes it's it, it's a little different but you know the one of the rabbi that was here Hatam Sofer the uh, Hatam Sofer wrote uh, a tshuva because there was an argument between him and there was there was one uh, big rabbi here in Israel which his name was Rabbi Avraham Alevi Anazir Rabbi Avraham Alevi Anazir he make um, a blast in a chupa. They invite him to do a chupa because he was Shadar. He came to the communities of the Khatam Sofer and they do a wedding and they want to respect him to have a blast in the chupa. So he came, uh, he hold. The you could say bracha, we know that is also. Okay. As Americans, we, okay. that much we know, we understand. <laughs> okay. So he make the bracha and he hold the, the cup of the Kiddush. So uh, the Khatam... Kiddush, I don't know about. Now, now, that, now you're pushing it. Okay. No, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. You can say Kiddush. Yeah, go. So, uh, so uh, the Khatam Sofer was uh, angry about it. They yeah. wrote the Tshuva one to each other. One time they, they invite me also to do a bless in the... A bracha. A bracha. In the chupa. By the chupa. So I came to the chupa. Like the first bracha, you mean Borei Priya Geffen? No, but, but we, we can... Ah, because it's on that cup. Yes, so okay. we cannot... So you I, can't even hold it. Yeah, oh, this is the argument between Rabbi Avraham Levi and Azir and the Hatam Sofer. Uh -huh. the, Hat, the Hatam Sofer say you're not allowed even to hold it. Because well, the Gemara... Shema, Shema Yishter. Yes, and because the Gemara, Be'avodah Zara, Dafvav Amud Bet, say that uh, if it's someone that give Nazir wine to drink and he doesn't say to him it's like uh, so uh, one time they invite me to make a bracha in the chupa so I had uh, a decline you have to say no uh, yes I had to say no but I say I, I agree only if you give me to make a bracha on a beer so they say okay we, we, we want you to make a bracha so I go to the <laughs> I may, I <laughs> I brought the, the beer to the, when, when they call me, I get to the chupa with the beer and uh, there. So one of the guys says, look, what's, what's a, is a, a cool rabbi, uh, long hair, beer, <laughs> he knows how to do a wedding. <laughs> As a, can. Yes, there is solution. There is few solution. I'm thinking now that you, because you're a Nazi, there's probably, people are very into Mekubalim and to, so there are a lot of people come knocking on your door for brachot and, and yeah. things like that? Yeah, but Looking I, for I, walk, advice. I walk, yes, I work hard not to be published. I do this for just because of the learning of uh, the Masechet Nazir. And I, and I want, I really, truthfully, I want to, people know that, uh, like I say in the start of the interview, that um, we should know that Torah in Mirshon Ora'ah. The, there is mitzvot, there is order that we need to do. This is Ratzon Hashem. But Baruch Hashem, we see in a lot of Siyat Dishmaya, yeah, yeah, people come in, we make a kemeot, we make a blesses, and Baruch Hashem, it's, it's, it's work. Baruch Hashem, Toda Hashem. I have, a, I have a, a question. If it's such a big mitzvah like you're saying, it is, how come Throughout the generations, we don't have that many Nazir. The Darizal, the Baal Shem Tov, the Vilna Gain. How come they're not Nazir? How come the Rishonim aren't Nazir? If it's such an easy thing to do and it makes you close to Takash Baruch Hu, how come, how come it's not accepted? Okay. I, I'm sure there's a few Nazir here and there, and you're going to quote different names, maybe some we heard, some we didn't, but the main G'dolei Ado, even by the Sfaradim and by the Ashkenazim, how come they're not Nazir? Okay. So the answer is... Um the answer is very, very simple. Uh, first of all, we have uh, three kinds of Nazirim. First is Nazir Shimshon, which is you can litamel yeah. emetim. And the second is Nazir Katsuv, which meaning he say how much time he's going to be a Nazir. And the third is uh, Nazir Le'olam. The two, uh, the, the, the two last nazir, kinds of Nazirim, they cannot be a Nazirim in Chutz Laaretz because they, they must hold themselves uh, outside of the Tumah, Tumat Met. And Rabotenu, Hazal, they are a Masuk Zeral, a Tumat Eretz Amim. That, uh, that's why a lot of communities in the world, they didn't say Birkat Kohanim, why? 
because the Kohanim not allowed to be in Chutz Lars, truthfully. Because there is a Tum'ah, they gazru, because the Gemara says that the Goim, they are buried, they are, they are uh, uh, dead people everywhere. That's why you cannot be pure, and that's why it makes you one opportunity to be an Azir Shimshon. The Azir Shimshon, the meaning that you cannot break it off and you, may to, you must take it for all of your, your life. But we should know two things. First of all, there was a lot of Nazirim. We don't know it, but it's not uh, published. But yes, there was a Nazirim in, uh, in, uh, in Am Israel. Rabbi Yitzchak Sholal, he was one of the, the Rishonim. He was Nazir. Atur, Rabbeinu Atur. He was uh, the son of the Harosh. He was one of the biggest Rishonim. Rav Haida said he was a Nazir. Rabbi Avram Alezim was a Nazir. Rabbi Shalom Jawi from Morocco, he was a Nazir. There is a list, a very long list. Besides it, in Egypt, there was a tnu'ah. A, a movement. A, a movement of Hasidim. It's called the old session of the Hasidut. They were Nazirim. They were Nazir Shimshon. In Egypt, they, was, they, were, uh, they act very holier, and they keep themselves from few things. And it was, uh, we don't know a lot about it, but we know that this is an order, this is a mitzvah, and we should understand it and, and understand that this is, the, like the Rambam says, this is the opportunity to bring the spiritual sides of the Am Israel, of all of the, the, the human being, which is the prophetic to be came to this world. So we have an Ezirim, we have Gdol Ador that was an Ezirim, but there was Gdolei Ador that was in Nazirim because uh, they were in Chutz Laretz and also those that were, was in Eretz Israel. not all of, listen, it's not mitzvah that you have to do. So how come Darizal wasn't in Nazir? He lived in Eretz Israel and he's Darizal. Okay, so... Rosh Mekubalim. Rosh Mekubalim. We should know that uh, Darizal, uh, there was uh, the first Mekubalim uh, like uh, Rabbi Yosef uh, Angaliko and Araavad, the Arizal, all his Torah, all, all of his Kabbalah, fitting, became from the Zohar. The Zohar, there is part in the Zohar that called Idra, Idra Zuta. The Idra, the Idra Zuta called Idra of the Nazir. That was the, the, that's why the Ramak called, called the Idra of the Nazir. And the Zohar was the base of the Arizal. Another base of the Arizal was the Kabbalah of the Ramban. And the Ramban and the Ra'avad. And all of this Mekubalim, Rabbi Yaakov, Misagiva, Nazir, uh, the brother, the two brothers, the holy brothers, they were Nazirim, Rabbi Yaakov Akohen and his brother. And they was, in the old generation, they were very holiest. And that's why they can became a Nazir. Arizal were, were here in Eretz Israel only for one, uh, one and a half year. I think if there was another time, maybe the Arizal also will, will became a Nazir. Because we know in Sfat, in his uh, generation, there was a Nazirim in Sfat. There was a very big Mikubalim in Sfat that was, yes, they were a Nazirim. So how come the Arizal? I don't know. But I think he wasn't Surely he was against it because it's a mitzvah. But uh, why he didn't become a Nazir, this is other cheshbon. I don't know the cheshbon. So do you recommend it for other people? I recommend other people to, to first of all, uh, to try and to understand the meaning and the, the meaning of the halachot, to learn the halachot. I recommend everybody to learn about it. Uh, I have two, two Haverim, two friends, that they are very uh, genius and very holier, and they are two Nazirim. The two of them are Nazirim. They wrote uh, books. First of all, the books Nazir Oloim. It's called Nazirut Bazman Azeh Ala Chalem And the second, it's called also Nazirut Bazman Azeh. These two books, they are a misk with all the Asur and Muta, all the Lachas of, of Nezirut, and I think we should learn about it. Because even we don't 
We're learning Masech Nazar. That's yes. what we're doing. We're going to learn about it. Yes, but Halakha Lemaase, it's, you know, Ashach, Asiftech Kohen, he's asked in Yore Dea, how come Rabbi Yosef Karo didn't wrote Halachot only for Nezirut? He asked this question, and he doesn't give an answer. He bring all the places that uh, in Ilchot Nedarim, uh, Shulchan Aruch uh, speak about few alachot, and he bring all the alachot, and he says, I don't have an answer, any answer about uh, this question, because I don't know how come uh, Shulchan Aruch didn't wrote alachot of Nezirut, because we need this alachot, uh, practical alachot. But uh, yes, if someone feel that you want, you know what? There is a lot of question in uh, the, genera- the old generation about someone that take on himself Nezirut. A lot of people come, came to Chama Ovadi Yosef or Rav El Yashiv or other rabbi, uh, people that were like in, uh, in Hodu or in uh, Nepal or things like that. And they wanted a Tara? They, want, they, they take on themselves Nezirut. And they want an atara. Uh, why? Because they feel, when they read on the mitzvah, they feel the spiritual side, the, the, the spiritual energy that this mitzvah brings to yourself. And it's very holy mitzvah, and uh, we want, Bezrat Hashem, that we will have the ge'ula, bekarov. Amen. So, first of all, I want to invite you to, to our shir, 7.15 in the morning, Ramad Bet Shemesh. <laughs> okay. We have, we have like 80 people live. And thousands of people watch around the world. Okay. Would you join us maybe one day during? Is that shame? Yeah. Maybe speak live. That's one thing. The other thing I want to ask you. This doesn't have to be on camera, but you could leave it on camera, because we have an artist that does things, and I'm interviewing you, and people are going to know who you are. Is it okay to use you, your face, as one of the one of the pieces of art? B'simcha Okay. So we'll take a picture. Okay. So we'll take a still picture. Character. Okay. תודה רבה הרב, תודה רבה, תודה רבה, תזכה למצוות, תודה רבה, לשם שמיים, כן, שנזכה לנבואה שתחזור לעם ישראל, אמן, אמן, תודה רבה, אולי, תודה רבה, תודה רבה, תודה רבה, זה זה, אתה לא יכול להגיד, אני לא יכול להגיד את המילה שאתה לא יכול להגיד, וואו, זה מדהים, כן, חמש שנים, אוקיי, יפה, אוקיי, 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 אז אני סותם אותו. בזה שאתה... בזה שאתה... טוב. אין שם השם השם? זה לא בעיה לעמוד ערום לפני שם השם? אה, יש שם השם השם. קודם כל, אני לא עומד ערום. הערווה מכוסה. איך? ברגע שאני פה בפנים. הערווה מכוסה. לא, מחוסה. אבל אתה צריך לעלות לתוך המים. נכון. דבר שני, זה בתוך שתי כיסויים, מה הבעיה? <laughs> רגע, אז אתה הולך כל יום? משתדלים, כן. אבל לא רטוב כאן, אני לא... כי זה היה לפני הרבה שעות. <laughs>